go DEI if my DEIs are bringing it home. MSNBC host Joy Reid expressed her delight that former President Trump is being prosecuted by what she terms as my DEIs, quote unquote. My DEIs are bringing it home, she said triumphantly. Oh my. Of course, she was using that term ironically, but conservatives have appropriated DEI to signify something pejorative, and Joy Reid does not appreciate that. So let's take a look at the clip and get a little bit more detail on her thoughts on Trump's prosecution by, quote, her DEIs. And a black woman forced you to pay a $175 million fine that's out now also in question because the people who put it up, that might not be legit. Donald Trump is being held to account by the very multicultural, multiracial democracy that he's trying to dismantle. And for me, there's something poetic and actually wonderful about that. It mm. says something good about our country that we're still capable of having that happen. Go DEI. My DEIs are bringing it home on today. Mm. No, it's striking and a system that also is affording him rights that he, when he was in power, tried to deny others. So wow. So kind of a mask off moment for Joy Reid there. She basically expressed her delight that Trump is being prosecuted. In some views, he's being persecuted by women of color like Letitia James of New York, the AG. And then in Georgia, you can say Fonnie Willis. So that's what makes her happy is that, you know, my group is going after your group. And for a lot of people, that sounds a little problematic, frankly. And then this guy... Um, Ari Melber comes in and he's like, well, you know, the great thing is that Trump is being afforded these rights that he doesn't want to afford to anyone else. So I think that Ari here sensed that Joy Reid's comments were a little controversial because she seemed to be suggesting that she was like working out her racial grievances in the justice system. And he is shrewd enough to, to have this cover that, oh, no, 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 like we're actually just following the laws and, and Trump doesn't want to follow the law. So... Interesting combination, these two, aren't they? Here's another clip with a hat tip to Jack Posobiec, who posted it on Twitter, in which Joanne Reed expresses that same kind of triumphalism, that she really enjoys the fact that Trump has a Jamaican judge in one of his New York City cases, suggesting that the judge will just have an animus against him by virtue of that. I'm not sure exactly what the implications are. Uh, they oppose that venue for many reasons. The demographics of it are interesting. Uh, this judge name, uh, I believe this magistrate judge is Mokshila Opadiaya, or Opadiai, I might be pronouncing it wrong, a woman of color. Um, the judge he will be facing in the trial, Jamaican-born woman of color. Um, he seems to be facing sort of demographic reality, um, legal reality. And, you know, situational reality. Now, the response to this that I'm hearing in the comment section, commentators like literally random people in the comment section are saying, well, Joy Reid is playing the race card. And why is she always talking about race? And I think, you know, this is probably from people who are center right or conservatives. And it's frankly a little naive, this re reaction, because, yeah, it is kind of a mask off moment for Joy Reid. But I think she kind of has a point like this is a multicultural democracy in which you no longer have a fair justice system. What's happening to Trump, I think, is in some ways a result of this because the rule of law be damned. It's like, hey, you offended me and now I'm going to get you. And that's what we can expect. OK, so conservatives, don't be naive um, when Joy Reid tells you how it really is. You got to just accept it. The other guy, Ari Melber. He's more, to me, he's more problematic because he is a man of great deception. And you got to give it to Joy Reid. She just tells you how it is. So give her that much. My name is Michael McCara. Thank you for listening. Follow me on Twitter. Visit my blog, michaelmccarablog.com. Like this video if you liked it. And please do subscribe to my channel. My channel's growing. Sometimes I lose subscribers too, so you have to offset that. I would appreciate it. Love can do And I